If you are presenting ideas to your online audience, students, or potential clients, you need to do it well. The world is flooded with bad presentations and boring slides. We see them every day in lectures, marketing materials, ads, and even in the office. If you want to stand out, I have a great tool for you. My name is Daniel, and today I am going to show you a platform that will completely change the way you think about creating presentations. It's called Prezi AI. And if you haven't heard of it yet, I am pretty sure I will surprise you today. Imagine a huge limitless canvas filled with all the information you need to present. You automatically zoom in and out of frames, creating an interactive experience for your audience. Sounds good, right? That's exactly what Prezi AI does. And now let's dive in. What is Prezi AI? All right, my friends, let's talk about Prezi AI. It's like having a personal designer right by your side. You toss in your ideas and boom, it instantly creates a unique, dynamic presentation. No templates needed. What about the top features that make Prezi AI stand out? First off, it builds presentations completely from scratch, based on your own prompts. You are not boxed in by the usual limits of traditional tools. And no two decks ever look the same. And reputation is another part of the secret sauce. With over 15 years of innovation and more than 150 million users worldwide, Prezi AI has become the go-to weapon for top presenters and educators around the globe. So if you're ready to tell a fluid, non-linear and totally unforgettable story and leave boring presentations behind, Prezi AI might just be your new best friend. Let's dive in and check out how it works. So guys, after logging in, we land on the dashboard. On the left, you'll see a menu where you can view all projects or filter by presentations, videos or infographics. There's also a library where you can see how presentations from other users look. This will definitely inspire you. The next is BrandKit, a fantastic tool for teams. And of course, there's the trash folder where deleted projects go. You can start a new project by clicking Create new presentation, new infographic or new video. There's also a new presentation button in the top left corner. But I want to try out the Prezi AI tools. So I'm clicking Create with AI. Next, you'll see a page where you need to enter the project name. I'll go with AI tools for everyday use. Click Continue. This is where you paste your prompt, a description of what you want the presentation to look like without using any old school templates. I've already prepared mine, so I'll paste it in now. I want the tool to create a presentation on how an average person can use AI tools in daily life. You can enter a longer description or even generate a presentation from a PDF. Just keep in mind that only the text content from the PDF will be used. Now we click Generate. It takes a little bit of time, but not long, just a few seconds. The AI tool starts generating the presentation and visuals. Here's the layout, broken into several sections. Soon this structure will become a full-fledged, interactive presentation. It's very convenient. Here's the main page. Text blocks and images are loading. Let's take a look. Click the right arrow. We zoom into the first section and the first heading. What are AI tools? We see a text block and an image. Moving on. Why are they important? Again, text and a high-quality professional image. The fonts are well matched. This is the last frame of the section. After that, we return to the main page. The animation looks great. Most likely we'll move to the next section. And yes, here it is. Enhancing organization with AI tools. Let's take a look at the frames. Great visuals, concise text. Everything's clear and to the point. On the right, there's an AI assistant window, telling us this is our overview. Here you can change the style, update the color palette, redesign the layout, or even recreate the presentation from scratch. Let's go with the last option and add more details. Let's expand the existing prompt. Right now, both the content and the style are described in broad terms. 
let's add more specifics. Not just about the content, but also the visuals. I'll enter a new prompt and click Recreate. Once again, we'll need to wait a bit while Prezi AI generates the updated presentation. We can already see that the visuals have changed and the design includes more sections. On the right, in the AI Assistant window, the layout looks more detailed and structured. It includes more specific elements. Let's wait for all the images to load and take a look. I'm not sure that I like this design, but we can improve it shortly. However, I think the subtitle Master in Personal Organization with AI matches my original idea much better. Let's look at the frames. You'll notice that the content is a bit deeper, not so broad. It also included other tools, for example, any.do. Each frame now highlights specific apps or services, for instance, Evernote, Notion, Habitica, and so on. I really like the fonts and the gray and white theme. Overall, the main page feels pretty illustrative, and it conveys the message quite clearly. We can choose the color palette here. Let's try switching between the available presets. This one is a bit brighter. The third looks great. Let's stick with it. I could also let the AI suggest new options. You can also change the design entirely. There are four suggested options. And you can ask the AI to generate more. I'll choose this sitting man. Looks nice. So now, let's move to the editor. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Ok, now we're in the editor view. At the top you'll see available elements like text, media, shapes and more. On the left you'll find the frames. You can manually add as many frames as you want. Let's click on the right arrow and start editing the first section. Let's say I don't like this image and want to replace it. I'll left click on it. This opens a menu where you can replace the image, change the style, add a fill, remove the background or crop it. I'll choose to replace the image. A panel opens on the right where you can add an image, GIF, sticker or icon. You can also upload your own image or choose one from the library. The selection is quite extensive, so let's pick one. Here's an elegant computer screen on the desk. Looks nice. Just like in any regular editor. We can resize it however we like. Now let's move to the next frame and start working on the text block. Click on it. And along with standard text editing options, there's also an Ask AI feature. Let's see what's inside. There are a ton of options, like turn into bullet points, make shorter, make longer, simplify, and make key points bold. Below there are additional AI features. For example, we can turn the text into a flowchart. Let's give it a try and see what happens. After just a few seconds, the standard text block transforms into three sequential statements, one following the next. If something doesn't look quite right, we can regenerate it with AI. Let's move to the next frame and try editing the text again. I'll click Ask AI and choose Make Shorter. Wow, it handled it in seconds. The main idea is still there, but now the sentence is way more concise. Next, let's turn this text into bullet points. It's much easier to read now. Perfect for a presentation. Now let's take it a step further and turn it into a visual list. It's like a presentation inside a presentation. Each bullet point has now been converted into its own slide. We can still change the images, update the text, 
edit the headers. Basically control the entire layout, both visual and content-wise. We can click on the home icon and return to the beginning. On the left we can see all these new frames have appeared. We can select any frame from this list and edit them one by one. Now let's switch to present mode to see how it looks. This is how the frames transition. They look sharp and stylish, no clunky, one after another order like in traditional presentation tools. And even a flowchart looks like three separated frames. The movements are very smooth. And again, the visual list looks great and fits the screen perfectly. Impeccable presentation, to be honest. Alright guys, let's wrap it up. I just showed you how to create an interactive presentation with Prezi AI. In just a few minutes we generated a massive canvas on how AI can help us in everyday life. Prezi built a clear logical structure, selected the visuals and wrote the text. But the most impressive part, it created a unique and beautiful design that feels more like navigating a video game than flipping through slides. I am also impressed by the editing features. The AI instantly updates text blocks and even transforms them into visual elements, like flowcharts for example. If you create presentations, it might be time to leave traditional slides behind and turn your lectures or pitches into an exciting journey, something engaging both for you and your audience. Check out the links in the description to try Prezi AI absolutely free. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time!